Hello, you guys. It's me, Mr. Porico, greeting you guys from Porico. And as you could tell right now, I'm in Porico. I'm in my grandma's old house. This is the house where I grew up. There's a lot of memories of this place. And right now, I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up because today is my last day here in my grandma's house because tomorrow I'm gonna leave Puerto Rico and I'm really sad. <clears throat> but today, if there's something that I learn from my summer vacation experience, is that we're not alone and that there's someone out there who loves us a lot and who could put our plans into work. And that person name is God. And today, my cousin of mine, Deborah, she talked to me about him, about this guy named Jesus who could fill all the things that we want to do in life. Sorry for the sound. That was me taking off my sandals. But yeah, there's someone out there named God who loves us and who could help us fill our dreams. But the problem is that most of us don't I don't know, consider or talk about him because we like to pretend that he doesn't exist, but he does exist because he's the one who died for us and most of us don't even know it because, well, I guess we're just too embarrassed. So yeah, so today's my last day in Puerto Rico, and I'm really sad. I had so much fun coming here every summer and just trying to make new memories and old. But yeah, I'm really gonna miss it here. I'm gonna miss my home. I'm gonna miss being in paradise. Being, being in Puerto Rico is honestly one of the best places for summer vacation. Well, that's just my opinion. I mean, I know that we all have our our opinions on where we like to go for the summer. But mine, it's always going to be Puerto Rico because I love my hometown and I love that I was born Puerto Rican. I basically love Puerto Rico with all my heart. And, and if I wasn't born in this island, I wouldn't be who I am today, which is a future Puerto Rican who is one day going to try to fix all the problems here in Puerto Rico. But, but I can't do that unless I put that very important person who I haven't talked to or or considered talking to. I have been ignoring that person for pretty much for as long as I could remember and I tried I I tried my best to look for that person but that person but the point is that today I'm gonna talk to that person I'm gonna talk to that most important person who I haven't talked to in a while and hope that he could help me, that he that he could let my dreams take flight because, because every time I try to open my heart, I could feel that I am talking to that person, but at the same time, I don't know, it's all really complicated. So yeah, so my name, my YouTube name is Mr. Porico, and I'm glad to be Mr. Porico, and that's who I want to become, that's who I want to be known as. 
I want to be known as the Puerto Rican who made all his dreams possible. And yeah, I love being here. Being here is being in paradise. But sadly, not many people know Puerto Rico the way I do. So yeah. So I'm in my room making this video of me saying my last goodbye to Puerto Rico. I'm I'm really gonna miss being here. Being here is like being in paradise. I just I just love being here, feeling the wind, the salt water in my face. I just love it all. I mean being here is like being in no other planet. And yes, Puerto Rico sometimes may not be the best island to live in. But it's, all, but it's always going to be the best place to come for vacation. And and I feel like all of you guys who have left this island, you guys should come back. I mean, Puerto Rico needs you. I need you. I want you guys to come back. I may not know all of you guys, but I need you. Puerto Rico needs you. <laughs> In the future, I want to become the next government of this island because I want to fix every problem. I I want to bring my home back. I, I don't I don't want my home to be a prison anymore. I want everybody to be free to enjoy this beautiful island that God made. I, I want to bring everything back. I want to fix my home. I want to. I want to put it back the way it was before, before, before tragedy happened, before Hurricane Maria happened, before, before everything happened, all the politics, I just, I just want Puerto Rico back. And I know in my heart that if I ever become the next government of this island, I could fix it, I could... I can fix all the problems that are that are happening because I believe in my heart that a good government is in that person. I feel like a good government could be anybody. Because... <laughs> Right now, right now in my heart, it may not look like I'm not crying, but deep down I am crying because I have all these sorrows, and I just want to bring Puerto Rico back. I just, I just want to bring my home back. I, I want this place to feel like home again. I don't want people leaving this island. I want all of you guys back, and even the people who I don't know on this island, I want them to come back home because Puerto Rico really needs you guys. I don't want this place to be alone. I, I want I want this place to feel like home again. <laughs> and and I'm not trying to cry to embarrass myself or anything. I'm I'm cr I'm crying the the, the fake tears. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to make them real, and I'm trying to make myself cry a bit so that everybody watching this video can understand how I feel, how other people feel. I, I may not know how other, people's, how other people feel, but I believe that we could change. I believe that we can make our beautiful island a better place again. But the problem is that we're not trying. You guys are not trying. And this is why... This is why a lot of problems are happening. Because nobody's trying. And we have to try so that we could succeed. So that the whole island could succeed. How could... How, how could we make Puerto Rico become better each day if we don't try if we don't work together and listen to one another but yeah that's all i have to say for this video 
I know that I know that tonight I'm gonna sleep with a with a happy smile because at least I have fun being here and yeah, I know sometimes Puerto Rico is in all peaches and creams, but it's still a beautiful place to be. I mean, there's beautiful beaches, there's there's beautiful churches. And yes, I know that I know that there's good and evil everywhere you go. But the but the but the thing is that here in Puerto Rico we could change. That's the good thing about being here. That sometimes we could change and and look things a different way. And the thought that I just want to say. So yeah, that's all for this video.